am here to convince you all that through our own personal spending habits, we have caused this recession and that uh, we are causing our whole country to fall into bankruptcy. Uh, three years ago, I did an economic study looking at the state of Arizona's office supply contract to prove this point. Our office supply contract is a $5 million contract that we awarded with OfficeMax. What we proved in our study is that we would have had three times the rate of return had we awarded that contract to an Arizona company called WIST. First and foremost, WIST has 100% full-time employees uh, with insurance. OfficeMax has brought Arizona 62% part-time employees with no benefits. Our cost savings begins to erode. Second, WIST gives $35,000 a year to Arizona charities. OfficeMax has never given anything. The most impactful one, WIST, they do business with Arizona. They have local attorneys, sign makers, graphic designers. All of those jobs are outsourced with Office Max and Staples, okay? Somebody's sitting out there still, I know, thinking, but that's okay. I'm going to always go for the cheapest. I always buy the cheapest because that's what I've been conditioned to do. If you have an opportunity to buy or rent a home, look at home A, you could rent for $800 a month. Home B, you could buy and your mortgage would be $825 a month. Are you going to sit at home and congratulate yourself by renting and saving $25 a month? No. You're going to buy it. You're going to make an investment. This is what we do when we live in a community and we understand what it means to support something long term. This is how we've bankrupted. Thank you. Another fun trick we pull on ourselves. This is a good one. I can't afford to buy anything that's expensive. I can't afford the local thing. Here we have a locally made chair and we have a cheap chair manufactured on the other side of the world. We go out and we buy the cheap chair because we tell ourselves we're smart. And then you end up replacing that chair three times over five years and you end up spending more money and you've got this enormous carbon footprint when you should have just bought the one that was made at home in the first place, right? All right, another fun thing we do, but this is how communities go broke. We got soccer mom. She goes out week after week after week and she buys the team snacks at Costco. She's saving money. And then at the end of the year, we have an entire legion of soccer moms that need gifts and need donations for the year-end party. And they run right out and they knock on Eddie Bash's door for free stuff after they've been spending all that money at Costco. This is what we do and this is what's happening. We're pulling sticks out of our Jenga game, right? This community will collapse. We cannot have our cake and eat it too. We cannot continue to spend money with nationals and not support the locals that are right here. So you're asking yourself, what can I do? What can I do? I'll give you the facts. I believe armed with the facts, you'll make a good choice. You have to go out and buy a faucet tomorrow. You have a million places you can buy it. The best thing you can do for your community is find a locally owned hardware store. Don't tell me they don't exist. You drive by them every day at 40 miles an hour. I know you do. The local place I go to, it's just me and a sea of butt cracks, okay? But those guys will help me <laughs> fix my toilet lickety split. They are out there. The next best thing you can do is go to a true value hardware. They're a co-op. They have employee owner opportunities. More of the dollars stay here. The next best thing is an ace. That is a franchise. The owner will at least be here and be somewhat invested. Next on the list, next down is going to a big box. We know for every $100 that you spend in a big national chain, only $13 remain here. Now you are fighting 30 years of advertising convincing you that buying it at a big box is going to be cheapest and that's not necessarily true. And beyond that, we know that for every two jobs a big box brings to us, Three local jobs are lost as a direct result of a local business closing down. Okay, this is not a savings. We are losing money. We are bankrupting ourselves on a regular basis. And even now, given all of this information, I know there's someone on the couch eating bonbons and thinking to themselves, wow, I just scored a 179-piece socket set for $1.99. I am so smart and I am so sexy. But the reality is this is how our communities go bankrupt. And the worst thing you can do for your community is to go online, and I know this crowd doesn't want to hear, but to go online and buy your faucet from an out-of-state company and not even pay your sales tax, okay? Municipalities run on sales tax, and I don't think we're ready to fight our house fires with garden hoses because our fire departments have been dismantled, or get the crazy guy out of our backyard because our police departments no longer exist, or take our own trash to the dump every week, okay? That is, but we've got tr $3 trillion have been pulled out of our municipalities across the country in the last six years because of online, uh, online purchasing. So I'm going to leave you with three thoughts. There's a study that just came out that predicts that for kids in America today under eight years old, more of them will claim bankruptcy in their lifetime than will graduate from high school. Okay, you may feel like you're saving money today, but you're actually pulling it out of the picture, out of the pockets of your children. Okay. The next thing I want to ask you to do is to visit shiftarizona.com. It is a website where you can learn more about these facts and statistics and uh, keep your money where your home is. Thank you.